Hello, nerds, and welcome back to The Legend of Dragoon, right here on Missledyne Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another Legend of Dragoon video. We are actually approaching the end of Disc 3, like, really, really soon, by the way. Like, next episode, probably, is going to be the end. Uh, also, huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, I've had to miss a couple of them during during this process just because uh, of Last of Us 2 and all these other games coming out at the moment. I've been streaming nonstop, uh, so it's just been a little hard, uh, but we're here. We got this. Let's go. Uh, this episode is going to be really, really weird. In the last episode, we defeated Lloyd. We actually got into a battle with Lloyd. We defeated him. He has now joined us, I guess. But we found out that Shauna has been kidnapped uh, from uh, the the Crystal Palace in Didingrad. She was kidnapped. Uh, Queen Teresa is safe. We have all of the moon objects. And in this episode, we're actually going to do something really weird. Uh, and we are going to backtrack dramatically. I'm talking backtrack to every city that we have previously been to. Because uh, as per usual, after certain events, there are typically some... Uh, hidden scenes, missable scenes, what have you, that you can actually see in specific areas. And uh, right now, that actually means every city that we've been to. And it also means Celise. Now that Shauna has been kidnapped, there is something going on with her parents and Celise. And we can go, we can go see what that is. Uh, and again, because we are so close to the end of Disc 3, this is the last chance that you get to do these things, that you get to see these. And a lot of those only become... Can we do this without a darn you? So, anyways, before I was so rudely interrupted. Um, so, basically, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be skipping around a lot. So, if, if, if you get lost or, like, you don't know how to get back to a previous city, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll try to guide you as best as I can. Uh, but for the most part, I'm just going to... I'm going to try to get through and, and just kind of show each city, each missable thing... Uh, instead of showing the path on how to get there. But before we do any of that, I do want to show you how we get to where we need to go for story progression, at least, uh, and where we'll actually end the episode. Uh, for those of you that aren't really interested in seeing anything about the missable scenes or anything like that, although if you clicked on the video, I'm sure you probably did. So we need to scale these back up because, of course, you can climb ice, right? That's just like a... Uh, of course you can! At, it's Legend Dragoon! Uh, anyways, I am actually going to, I think, I was going to say, I might actually buy some charm potions for the first time ever in this game, uh, but I'm not, because we still have additions to work on. It's going to take me a lot longer to get to where we need to go, but that's okay. So, anyways, we actually, to continue where we need to go, storyline-wise, we want to head up here to where Miranda actually stopped us. This will take us out of Kashua Glacier, and will bring us to the continent of Gloriano. If you remember, Gloriano was what this entire place was, right? Uh, this is when the Winglies ruled the world. This was Gloriana. And if you see from the map, there's actually two different places that we can go to. The one that's right in front of us is called the Snowfield. And then place after that is where we need to go uh, later on, which is the capital, Velweb. Um, so I just wanted to point that out before we actually go. Of course, that is where we're going to end the episode after we do all of the backtracking. So first is first. We need to head to the Crystal Palace in Dinningrad. But before we do any of that, I wanted to show this scene real quick, where if we try to leave Kashua Glacier, Lloyd will say the girl Shauna is in Velweb as well. You're still going back to the city? Yes. Yes, we are. Why does the Emperor Diaz need the girl? Why does he desire the three divine moon objects? And why am I going with you? Are you now afraid of uncovering the truth? Never mind. I promised you I would go to Velweb with you, but I didn't say I was going to go to a human city with you. I'll wait here for you. You mean here? Don't worry. I won't run away. I understand. I trust you. Weird. So, upon arriving in Dinningrad, we'll see the same people that we... Yes, of course. You are with me. That's enough for me. Oh, are you guys... Are you guys cute? The dragon is dead. Queen Teresa is back. Everything will be better. Let's work hard. Nice. You could also buy some spark nets if you need it, although you don't. Uh, the dragon was defeated and Queen Teresa's back safely. I assume that the divine tree forgave us. Very interesting. There's a little kid here because I said I want to see the divine dragon. Maybe this was a punishment. Yeah, probably. 
I'm glad Queen Teresa's back safe and sound. I wonder what happened to the man with platinum hair. I wish I could get my hands on him. Oh, he's hanging out at the glacier in the, in the, bef in the, in the, yeah, he's hanging out. He's fine. Don't worry. I am relieved Queen Teresa's back safe and sound. Indeed. Yeah, it seems, it seems like a lot of people are saying this, uh, the same thing. I almost gave up at one point, but at least Queen Teresa's fine now. The only important thing is that Queen, T yeah, that's all everybody cares about. The incident is settled for the time being. Now we have to deal with our own problems. And of course, we can go see Queen Teresa, right? Over in her, uh, in her throne room, if you will. Even though the Crystal Palace is kind of dilapidated and looks like it could fall at any moment. I'm sure she's safe. There's no Stardust or anything. We already got those. The swordsmanship of the man with platinum hair was not normal. Agreed. Uh, he didn't take Queen Teresa's life away, and he didn't ask for a ransom. What was the objective of the pl Well, it was uh, the Divine Moon. Uh, you don't know. It's fine. You don't know about it. You don't know about it, buddy. I just kind of like that all of the dialogue changes. Sister Wink is staying at the hotel in the city and resting. Oh, then we got to go see her. The drawing rooms at the castle all fell apart when the Divine Dragon came. We decided to accept the cooperation of the citizens. What does that even, what does that even mean? I'm glad. Queen Teresa's back safe and sound. I'm really glad. Yeah, a lot of you seem to be really glad that she's back safe and sound. I, I know, because seven of you said it! Oh, hello. Who is Emperor Diaz, who abducted Miss Shana? The Emperor Diaz, who led humans during the Dragon Campaign, is still alive? No way. It is impossible. Well, Rose is still alive, and she fought in the Dragon Campaign, so... I didn't feel animosity from the man called Lloyd. I wonder what his purpose is. I wonder what his... You said that you could tell his murderous intent. Sister Wink's injury is not so serious, but... I am worried about the injury to her heart that Sister Wink... Well, we did slice her back open, so that was my bad. Anyways, let's go check on Sister Wink in the hotel. All right, where is she? Oh, she's where Shauna was. That's not a safe bed. I wish I hadn't lost control of myself in anger. Wink, I'm sorry. I don't... It's not really your fault, Dart. I am sorry. We couldn't protect Miss Shauna. Yeah, what even happened? He had a helmet and I couldn't see his face, but he cast a strange spell on me. Oh. We had been helping to take care of Miss Shauna, and on that day, at that time, we were helping. I tried to take Miss Shauna back. I don't know why, but my body just froze in front of the mysterious person. We saw it, the guy who abducted the girl. His whole body was covered with a cloak and he was wearing a helmet so we couldn't see his face. Does that help you at all? No, it doesn't, at all. Um, I, when Miss Shauna was abducted, I passed out. What? The mysterious person suddenly appeared in front of us and I was so shocked I passed out. What? Oh man. Anyways, that's it for Deningrad, so we have other cities to return to. Next up on our list. So if you are backtracking, I would recommend picking up some charm potions. Of course, unless you are trying to get some additions filled, which of course we are, we always are. This way, it just kind of stops you from doing any real dedicated grinding, and instead you can, you can just kind of do the things, right? Everybody is influenced by your passion. I often hear voices saying we should acknowledge humans. Oh. Everyone has started to acknowledge humans. I hope the wall between the species will disappear soon. Wow. From the north, the wind brought the cry of the agonizing death of the divine dragon. I cannot believe they really defeated it. You mean me? So this is the power of the dragoon. The god darn tootin' it is. And we can talk to these people. We don't need to hurry to open the forest. It should happen soon after we have begun to deeply understand each other. Yeah, I agree with that. There are many problems in opening, but eventually the road will open. I love it. I love it, guys. If Miru hadn't left the forest, if Miru hadn't met her human friends, the world would have been destroyed by the divine dragon. Yeah, actually. Like, like, whoa. You're, you're so right. Even before, Miru was good at surprising people, but this time was very special. <laughs> I really didn't imagine she could defeat the divine dragon. I didn't imagine my own daughter could defeat the Divine Dragon. I was even more amazed than when she left the forest. I thought she would be just a baby forever. She grew up while we weren't looking. Even if we can go to the outside world, I won't leave the forest. My holy land is this forest. I cannot leave. Oh, man. Old people, am I right? <laughs> There's so many Winglies. There was a time when we were arrogant and said that Winglies are the reincarnation of the creator Soa. But actually, I think all the species are. 
Oh, how does that work? When you are injured, use the room upstairs. Blah, 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 blah. It's true. You people have liberated both our body and soul. Thank you. You're so welcome. The vanquishing of the divine dragon has been an earnest wish of our ancestors. They would never have imagined humans fulfilling their wish. Yeah, and probably be really upset about it, to be totally, totally honest with you. Now, I am just kind of cutting around everywhere because uh, at this point, I'm pretty sure if you've been following along, you kind of know where to go to get to stuff. Um, but if again, if you if you're not really sure, you can leave a comment and I'll, I'll try to explain it. It's been over 600 years since I was born to this world. It's amazing that people who could defeat the divine dragon emerged 600 years. So you have barely been around a power that exceeds even the ancient winglies. I will see how you will use it. That is so interesting. So interesting. And last but not least, we can come talk to the elder brother. My heart hurts. I had the same sensation when I found out about my babysitter's death. The sorrow of losing a loved one. But losing my baby sister and brother, I gained an understanding of the uselessness of revenge. It was too expensive of a lesson. What about you, Guaraha? Every day I'm thinking about you, Miru. What you are doing now, what are you thinking now? I think I slowly started to understand what you were thinking about, Miru. Oh, that's so cute. He's not a bad guy, that Guaraha. And that's all the extra dialogue in the Forest of Winglies, so let's head to Fernie. Now, there's nothing really here in Fernie that is, is going to blow your mind or anything. However, we can talk to this person that says the moon is acting strange. I hope nothing bad will happen. And previously mentioned something about calamities ending. The Divine Dragon attacked the city and Queen Teresa was abducted. We went through a lot. In this short period of time, we went through a lot. But that's pretty much it that they'll actually say here. Uh, so I'm bringing in aid in order of King Zor. So they're sending aid here after Deningrad was destroyed. But we need to board the Queen's Fury because, well, we need to go check out the Twin Castle in Flitz. And we're back in the Twin Castle in Flitz, which is pretty cool. I still feel like I'm being watched by somebody. I'm sorry, Nello. I wish the person would not just watch me, but instead would help me. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to happen. I knew it. Princess Leah's, Lisa's in love with somebody. Yeah, we already heard We already heard that, right? This person will also tell us. Oh, hello there. Oh, hello. Another nice day, isn't it? Yeah, it's okay. Thanks for asking. I wonder if anybody here is going to mention it's the rule for drinking. Yes, it is, my friends. Uh, it's the rule for drink. Even in even in this place? Wow. Even in Endeness, the rule for drinking is 21. Recently, there are lots of customers from Milisezu. It's super busy every day. Gosh, busy, busy. I'm too busy preparing for tonight to speak with you. Sorry. Whatever, Kathy. Kathy's working hard today. She's already preparing for tonight. Oh, all right. Well, whatever. I guess let's just head to the Twin Castle and see if anybody's got anything new to say. We reinforce the guard of the castle. Probably for the best. All right, King Zor, what are you thinking, my friends? Oh, heroes of Tiberoa, you haven't finished your journey yet. Finish your journey and come back to this land as soon as possible. Oh. <laughs> okay, I... Whatever. All right, what about you? Oh, King Albert, I, 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 I'm sorry. When I think about you, King Albert, it makes my heart full of... Oh, shit. All right, what about Lisa? All right, what about Princess Lisa? Wait, what was that? Love changes people in a wonderful way. I'm looking forward to seeing Princess Lisa's future. I understand how Sister Emile felt. Oh, interesting. So there's no reason to come to Fletz at all. And finally, our last stop on the backtracking is Sleaze. Yeah, there's nothing really to see in Kazaz, uh, the Black Castle in Kazaz, or even in Bale. Uh, at the moment. We already saw some of the dialogue. I believe it was this disc with Lavitz's mom. So that's not really a concern here. But Selyse, the, we haven't been here. Of course, the swordsman is gone. But we haven't talked to any of the parents at all. You may not find out truths you don't want to know. But don't lose yourself. Interesting. All right. What about Shana's parents? Where is Shauna? Uh, actually... I see. I wonder if the traveling was too much for her. Please, take care of Shauna. She needs you.
Well, maybe. Of course, they don't know anything about the fact that she was kidnapped by Emperor Diaz. How is Shauna? Take care of Shauna. But she was actually... You know what? Never mind. You guys... You, never mind. You know what? I'm not even going to tell you. It's, it's not important. All right. All the way back to Kashua Glacier. Now, if I am missing any of the missable scenes that you can get right now after defeating Lloyd for the first time ever, uh, if I am missing anything, please let me know in the comments. Uh, this is a big game, and there's definitely a lot of dialogue and stuff like that that happens uh, anytime a major event happens in the game. Sometimes certain places will suddenly have new dialogue or anything like that. I think I showed most of it, or at least the gist of what an area was, right, with, with Flet's... Uh, or with uh, uh, Din and Grad talking about they're, they're glad that Queen Teresa's back. Uh, Salise, we finally got to go see uh, Shana's parents and hear about why she's no longer with us, right? Why they think she's safe in Din and Grad. But if there's anything at all that I missed in this backtracking and you know about it, definitely let me know in the comments and I will try to see if I can add it uh, in, a, in a future episode or anything like that. I want this to be the most complete possible Legend of Dragoon playthrough you've ever seen. And after that detour, we can talk to Lloyd. Are you going to Velweb? Yes, we are, my friends. And all the way back through Kashua Glacier. And like I said, after all that, we're finally here in Gloriano. Anyways, that's going to be it for our little episode here where we backtracked to a few different places to see some very minor scenes that aren't a big deal, but still, this is, again, the most complete uh, playthrough of The Legend of Dragoon that I think I can possibly do, so I needed to show it. In the next episode, we will finish Disc 3 and find out some pretty dramatic truths, and I hope you guys are ready for that. Thank you so much for watching. Huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres every Monday, Wednesday, Friday around 2 p.m. Eastern. I sincerely appreciate you guys, and thank you for being patient. And you can find me over on twitch.tv slash online, where I stream every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 9 a.m. Eastern. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, never give up, never surrender to all the backtracking? <laughs>